Oh, what a header. What a goal for Ricky Lambert. What an arrival on the international scene. It's a fairy tale. What a header this is. This is what we saw him do time and time again last season. In the Barclays Premier League, there was only one player that was probably better in the air, and that was Ben Teke at Aston Villa. But Lambert did brilliantly there. But above his man, perfect technical header, back across the goalkeeper. And England lead Scotland for the first time this evening. Ricky Lambert has finally arrived in the big time. Also Jermaine Jeffers. Jeffers going near post. Super goal from the Young Lions. And Francis Jeffers translates outstanding under 21 form into the senior side. Two debutants in perfect harmony. England won Australia two. Well, it was a marvellous goal. It was a centre forwards goal. Got to give plenty of credit to Jermaine Jennings, who's played so well this half. He looks up. That's a great centre forwards run from Fernie Jeffers. Beats his man at the near post, times it well, and doesn't he time that header well? Short to no chance. Beautifully directed header from Jeffers, and that gives England a chance now. To Fabian Delph. This ball in towards Wilson, 3 0. And he does get a debut goal, Callum Wilson. Nicely taken at the near post from Fabian Delft's cross and England headed for victory for sure now a goal on his international debut for the Bournemouth striker who hasn't looked out of place this evening one bit possession so far but England have looked to have more of a cutting edge as Trippier finds Grealish Ampadu could have a problem and it's still Grealish and Calvin Lewin and it's a debut goal for the Everton striker a sumptuous assist from Jack Grealish a really enticing cross and Calvin Lewin who cannot stop scoring for Everton now has an international goal. The first Everton striker to score at Wembley since Gary Lineker in 1985. Boys own stuff for Harry Kane on his debut. Chairman applauds and so does the captain. How about that for making your entrance? Terrific ball from the left. And a fantastic header that Alaskas could not keep out. 4-0 the scoreline here. Similar goal to this 
and a pre-season friendly for Manchester City. He has a very bright future ahead of him. Not too many England players have scored on their debut, but Sean Wright Phillips is added to that list. Done by Jovetic. Vucevic hasn't attuned to the pace of the game yet. Twice beaten first by Welbeck. And now by Townsend! No! Dream debut! He's only got to clinch the points for England. There is no dross in Andros Townsend. Well, we talked about him cutting infield onto his left foot. This is a really good shot with his right foot. Wins the ball back, drives it to centre half. They back off and they back off, and it's the perfect strike. Bending away from the goalkeeper. He really shows good strength. See, Savage doesn't go to him, and it bends away from the goalkeeper off the post. What a strike. What a game he's had. Young man from Tottenham, been outstanding tonight. Got plenty of pace. Oh my goodness! Marcus Rashford inside two and a half minutes. The dream continues for the teenager. Was there any doubt when it dropped onto his foot? Incredible. And then the ball comes into him. Plays it just round the corner. Just now, still to start with, but the ball falls really nice for him and with his. Laces, he hits right through the back of the ball, it's good technique from him. It's hardly a straightforward chance, is it, taking it on the volley? Gets it absolutely right, keeps it down, hits through the back of the ball, beats the goalkeeper at the near post. What a start for the youngster, and what another good start for England. England have got an equaliser in them, they have, and it is to Ryan Sassel. And he's deserved that, he's been bright and perky right from the off on his international debut. Well, England have been a totally different side second half. They've been at it, they've been bright, they've been quicker, the tempo's been higher. And this is just brilliant delivery, fantastic finish. It was taking pick almost in the middle of that goal, who wanted it? You can't give this man that much room to cross it, they're looking for offside here. It's borderline, but it's allowed to go. If Facel doesn't get it, Scholes does. Neither of them don't get it. I think Gerard's coming in behind him as well. Phillips, so any one of three could have finished it off. Dream debut is turning out to be.